All right, Quince, Florida, you've known for a while. In fact, you got the watch on. If we had your book bag around here, it has a big Gator <laughs> emblem on it. Uh, you made your decision early. In fact, you made it with us back in August. And you stuck to it, so I'm proud of you. Thanks for doing that. But uh, we're going to get into the process a little bit of how you got there. But let's just start with Florida. Why is it the right fit for you? Uh, I chose Florida because I felt like it was the best of both worlds for me. Um, a chance to get a, a great degree if football doesn't work out. And uh, to play great football in the SEC because of Marcus and Luchez that left. It's just a great, perfect opportunity for me to, to go in and make an impact. Now, you, obviously, you come from a stable stable home. You got yeah. a mom, a dad, you got an older sister, right? A younger brother. And, uh, so you, you, I think, had a good foundation to make your decision. And I think your dad recently talked about it, and we've known about it, that you went through a pretty extensive process. You visited a lot of schools. I don't know exactly what you did after the fact to come to reaching that decision to Florida, but maybe you could talk about how much went into making that decision? Not just I felt comfortable, but like, how'd you really kind of break it down? Uh, well, at first I really liked Florida because I had me and uh, Coach T-Rob and I connected like right away. He's a really cool dude. And um, I basically took trips to Cal uh, UCLA, USC, Notre Dame, Ohio State, South Carolina, Tennessee. Uh, yeah, I think I think that's it. And, uh, and I, I liked Florida before all of those, so I just was comparing all of them to Florida. And, and it really came down to Cali, but I felt I was too far away from home, so it really came down to Ohio State and Florida. And I chose Florida because I, mean, I like the state of Florida, like the weather and everything. And I just, I just felt like T Rock could make, get the best out of me and, and mold me into the player that I want to be. So establishing that relationship with the coach that's recruiting you, that was that was big? Yeah, it was big. I mean, I felt like T Rock would always hit me up, right? and I'll talk to him, talk about whatever. I just felt really, I just felt really comfortable with him. I, just, I felt like that's, that Florida should be the place I should be at. Now, for you, you, you know, we've seen look, we're, we're we're days away from signing day. We've got kids still making decisions. We've got kids flipping. And how'd you know you were ready? How'd you know you were ready in August? Like, why, why did you make it then? Why didn't you wait till now? Well, why was that the right time for you? Did you want to get it out of the way before the season? Yeah, going through all the years and seeing seeing some of the guys go through it, like like Devin Golden and Sky Moore and Jordan, I just wanted to get it over with. You know, because it, it can become a hassle like how it is now for some kids, you know, reporters always hitting their phone and, and you're scrambling, trying to take visits and everybody telling you this and that. I just didn't want to go through that. You had your dad. Your yeah. dad coached you here, yeah. played D1 football at Miami. Besides him being your father, what was it like, I guess, having your father, having those experiences, but also just having your father to be a part of the experience? How much did he help you? Uh, he helped me a lot because, you know, he went through it and... Um, I wasn't quite the same when he went. Yeah, through. it wasn't quite the same, but you know he. <laughs> they were watching tape on like VCR. Yeah, they do VCR tape. Yeah, but um, he had to make uh, these type of decisions and, and take trips and um, and he knows the different things to look at in the cars and to tell me what to look for in the cars, not just because you like the coach. You don't really make a decision on one coach or things like that. So he just he just kept uh, made sure that I was that I was looking at the right things and uh, he just helped me each step of the way. What was the best advice he gave you? Uh, I think the best advice he gave me was uh, not really like I'm recruiting. It's like uh, uh, when you go to college, you got to be, when they put you on special teams, you just go all out because if you play on special teams, then they don't really want to play. Um, we're, we're sitting here in new school. This is kind of where you made in your name. A lot of guys made their name here. You kind of made this program part of, you were helped build this program up. What are you going to remember about your time here? Uh, what I remember about time here is Coach Herod and uh, the things that he taught us and and he's just a, he was just a great person, and uh, and uh, the football teams that we've had here the four, the four years that I played, just they've been great every year. You know, we came up short uh, some years, but it's all part of life, man. I just had a great time playing football here at university. You were state champ, though. Yeah, we were state champ. How was that? It was. I mean, it was it was a great feeling, you know, to be to come out on top, and we were the only undefeated team in Florida that year. And um, those are some things that's just gonna be with me forever. What do you think about Florida? The Gators, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Oh, uh, the Swamp, you know, just playing in the Swamp, you know. I went to uh, two games this year, Florida State and Tennessee, and it was, it was just, I just felt like it was just a great place to be around. The fans are crazy. They had a losing season, but the, the, the stadium was packed every week, and, you know, the fans are going to support you, and they're going to be there at every game, and, you know, it, it, it was just an amazing feeling. You're going in there with you, at least from down here, you, Kerry, 
and uh, Brandon Powell's up there. Yeah. So uh, you like the fact there's a little bit of a South Florida, and there might be more, you never know, but you like the fact that a couple of guys from down here are going up there with you? Yeah, you know, it's always cool to go to uh, college with some guys that you know, so you don't feel like a outcast or anything like that. But it's You know cool. some guys on the team? Yeah, I know some guys on the team. You know, uh, Cody Riggs, uh, we ran track together, and uh, some, some other guys. Uh, can't think of it right can't now. Can't think of it right now. Yeah. And the last thing, what do you see yourself? What do you see your, what, do you, what do you see for yourself in your future? How do you how, how do you, how do you want people to remember you? Oh, uh, I just want people to remember me as a, as a great guy, uh, nice mm, nice no, guy, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just a hard worker, you know, and uh, and that balls on a, on game day. Balls on game day. Balls on game. So we we'll be talking about you in a couple of years, Quincy Wilson, yeah. All American University of Florida. Yes, sir. All right, appreciate it.